just checking in. Um, I'm coming, I'm just coming from Target. Went in there to grab one thing and end up grabbing four things, which isn't bad compared to me um, grabbing about 15 to 20 items. So, um, yeah, I grabbed a few things. Now I'm about to go pick RJ up and then I'm going to go home. I'm going to start dinner. Um, the good thing is I'm going to do like the, um, I'm going to make baked chicken, but you guys know like the McCormick packets that has like the seasoning, you can throw the chicken in the bag and all you have to do is add some like, you know, vegetable of your choice or, um, oh, vegetable, potato, something else. Potato is a vegetable, but yeah, you can add vegetables, um, along with the seasoning and stuff and then you put it in the oven and it cooks. So that's what I'm going to do. Basically baked chicken. Um, I still have some carrots and potatoes left from the roast that I made. I don't want it to go bad, so I said, let me just go ahead and use that. And I'll probably fix some rice with it. But while that's cooking, I can do RJ's hair. Um, he, he's either going to have the option of playing the game a little bit and then... No, he's not even going to have that option. We're just going to start his hair and then... Um, you know, we can be done and he can get on the game. He can have time on the game. I'm hot. <laughs> I got this cardigan on. When I came outside earlier, I had the card, just the cardigan. And I was cold. So I went back in the house, got my jacket. Because, like I said, I was cold. <laughs> um, but now I just have the cardigan on. And I had this, this material is very thin. Which is why I was cold this morning. Um... But yeah, so right now I feel, yeah, it's hot. So yeah, I'm rambling. I um, just wanted to check in and say hi. So I'll check with whatever. I just, yeah, I can't talk. I'll check back in with you guys later. I'm gonna do the same thing you're doing. Make a U-turn. Cause these streets is weird. All right, y'all, see ya. Can I help you? Yes, good morning. Mobile order for Taisha. You can follow around. Okay, thank you. Have a great day. You too. Thank you. Hey y'all. So I um, am headed to go get RJ because the aftercare that he goes to is closed for the day due to maintenance. They called my phone at 1.30 and left a message. I cannot have my phone on me. So therefore, um, I didn't get the message until I left work. So my leg, my leg is itching. And the one that I'm using to drive. Mm. Um, come on, bro, go. Um, so yeah, RJ called me and told me. He said, mom, there's no aftercare. I'm like, what? We gotta look at the calendar because normally they don't have aftercare on holidays. Um, but like city government holidays, whatever, because it's owned by the city. Uh, my leg. I don't know what's going on. Um. So yeah, I'm looking at the calendar. I'm like, wait. I'm trying to really figure this out. <laughs> I know. I know today ain't no holiday. So why they closed? So I didn't know at the time that it was maintenance until, like I said, I went to my phone. But um, he he's like in two different aftercare programs. One is like just for fun or whatever and then the other one is um you know they kind of do work there it's almost like a study session in, in a sense um they also do coding which he's not really into so some days he'll go there some days he'll go to the other aftercare but he ended up not going to the other aftercare so he'd go to the one that's closed so i just told him to stay there um, he said there are teachers there because, you know, some of the teachers were expecting to get kids because it was late when he decided on it or figured it out, I guess. They get out of school like 2.20, maybe 2.15. I really don't know because we go to ask kids, so I forget. <laughs> but, yeah, they called parents at 1, the message said 1.39. So, I'm headed to go get him. Um, at least I was able to leave work about 10 minutes early. Um, and drop him off, probably go in the house. I 
really want to lay down because I have a headache. At first I thought it was because, so I got the headache around, I'm gonna say like 10, 10.30, which is when I was eating pumpkin seeds. I thought it was from that because like too much salt. And I was tearing them pumpkin seeds out. They were so good. <laughs> My head started hurting, so I stopped eating. But the headache was more so on this side, which is also the side where my ear has been bothering me. And I'm just so used to this ear hurting that I don't even like mention it most of the time anymore or pay it any mind. I just let it do what it do. Um, so yeah, I took my nasal cord this morning. I'm gonna go home and take my flow nays. I'm not sure why my ear and my headache is hurting. I the salt could have been a trigger. Um, and the pumpkin seeds, they wasn't even that salty though to me. So I really don't know, but it's hurting. And I have to go to class tonight. <laughs> and I just really don't even feel like sitting in there with this headache, but, because it's only on this side. That's why I'm believing, you know, I'm um, believing. <laughs> That's why I'm thinking it's due to the my ear um so yeah i'm gonna go home and take the full nays and then hopefully it'll feel better i can't see the ent until january which i knew that was going to be the case when my doctor put the referral in told me to make the appointment i already knew that it was going to be months before i could see an ent because most of the time with those type of doctors you cannot get in quick so i think the first week in january is my appointment I asked to be put on the wait list, um, which normally no one really uh, changes their appointment, drops their appointment, whatever. So if they do, then I can get in sooner. But, um, you know, I really just need to go see the CNC to see what's going on. Why am I, you know, why do I keep getting fluid in my ear and these ear infections, the headaches and ugh. like my brain is fine because I went and got a, um, MRI because I was getting those headaches so my brain is fine um, but the headaches uh, come with the fluid in my ear and yeah just need to figure out why is it always fluid in my ear so yeah I'm rambling but I'm gonna about to go get RJ I'm just about to get loud and you guys won't be able to hear me so I'll check back in with you guys later okay y'all hey so I'm sitting here um, eating my McDonald's I know not healthy but it was something quick I could grab um, because I was hungry now like I don't feel like waiting until like 8 o'clock which is when I get out of Bible study these are some salty fries um, can you hear that? Like, they did not have to put this much salt on them. Ooh. Um, I dropped RJ off. So he's getting ready, getting ready to go to that. And then, I said, I was not going back home because if I go back to my house, I wouldn't be making this Bible study. So I said, let me come here and sit the church. So I'm here. It's almost six o'clock. <laughs> Bible study starts at six. Well, um, we start at six forty-five because we're waiting until the pastor gets there. Really, um, and that's when Bible study starts. But praise and worship. I'm gonna say that we don't wait for him to get there. Praise and worship starts at six forty-five, and then Bible study starts about seven seven fifteen. So, yeah, I'm gonna be sitting here all this time, but. I've been listening to some some music. Um, this one song that I love. Just I heard it yesterday on TikTok. See what the Lord has done. I don't even know who it's by, but it was playing, and I was just listening to the words, and it just yeah, it touched my soul. So I said, you know what? I'm gonna listen to this today, and I listened to it on the. I've been listening to it all day. 
I listened to it on the way to work, had me a little worship session, and it was lovely. <laughs> and I was listening to it just before I cut the camera on. But see what the Lord has done, what you've waited for has come to pass. See what the Lord has done. Just so meaningful. It's such a meaningful time. Um, so I've been listening to that. And that's what I'll probably do. Just listen to that. Um I don't have my book or nothing like that. I can look over math. <laughs> Cause I don't want to take in my big bag. When I come to Bible study, I just like taking my small purse, but oh, people popping up already! Dang, I'm not the only early one. I don't know who that is though. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, I'm just sitting here eating the rest of my fries. I got fries and nuggets. That's it, and some tea, as you can see. Um. I'm never anywhere this early. Never. <laughs> For one, I don't like sitting still. Like I don't arrive. I don't like arriving to a place and then having to sit and wait for something to begin. Let me just like go straight in when it starts. I mean, where is? I can't talk. I just want to walk right in, and it has already started. So, yeah, I'm gonna get antsy. I know that. If I eat this. Oh, that's the um church's assistant. So that was like I don't know that car. But yeah. Anyway. Like, I don't want the rest of these fries. The further you get is like, oh salty. They should not be this salty. McDonald's why? They were nice and hot. Now normally you get you don't get hot fries, you'll get semi hot and not salty. This time they were nice and hot. The saltiest ever. Ugh. Let's see what these nuggets look like. I don't regular nuggets. I rarely eat McDonald's, like rarely. I gotta have a taste for it. And I had a taste for it. See? Um, the other day I had a taste for it when RJ went too. So I was like, oh, I'm here. And I was like, oh, I could get a steak, egg, and cheese bagel. Um, and that was good. I thought I wanted the hash brown. I did not eat the hash brown. The hash brown is actually still in the re refrigerator. <laughs> so that's why I said I really have to have a taste for it. Um, these are all right. These are like hit and miss too sometimes. Um, should have went to Chick Fil A. <laughs> I would have just been disappointed. That was another thing. I went to Chick Fil A on Monday because I didn't have a lunch, and the um, I had two nuggets and probably about four fries. And after that, I was like, okay, I'm not hungry. I don't want, I don't want this anymore. Like I don't, I don't know why I was stuffed. So I actually ended up taking it home. Weird. Um. Maybe being on a 21 day challenge from the fried food changed my taste buds or something. Not my taste buds. <laughs> it changed um, me wanting fried foods or I don't know. Like really, I had a taste for it. Because I was like, ooh, I haven't had fries in 21 days or fried food. Let me go get some fries. And like I said, after I had the four fries, two of the nuggets because I had an eight piece. I was like, I don't want any more. Mm. So I don't know, but... I'm gonna finish eating this and um I fixed my hair a little bit so I can look presentable. <laughs> but yeah, I'll finish eating this and then um I'll check back in with you guys later. <laughs>